Chris Carter is back with us. Chris, was Edelman's catch more luck or skill? Um, not more one or the other, but a lot of times both things have to happen. So it's both luck and it's also skill. Um, the initial contact of the football by the defensive back, the way the ball went into the air. Typically, coaches teach, tip ball across the middle, bad things are going to happen. Yep. It just happened that they were in the type of coverage where the middle of the field was open. They were like in a two-man coverage. Yep. He was playing underneath. And Edelman, where the skill comes in, is Edelman was able to stop on a dime, plant his cleat, and the way the ball was falling, because the ball could have fell any type of way. If the ball was wobbling, if the ball was going end over end, he wouldn't have been able to catch it. But the way the ball fell, with the tip of the ball, not the ball's mass. If the mass of the ball would have been coming down, the ball would have hit the ground probably. If not, he wasn't supported by the Atlanta players. But the way the ball came down with the point of the football allowed him to be able to get his hands up under it. Also, the concentration. A lot of times, I've been a high school receiver coach for a long, long time, teach a lot of pros and college guys. We do a lot of drills where we are dropping the ball and you have to be able to react and be able to catch it before it hits the ground. Also, we do a lot of things with smaller balls, throwing the ball outside your body where you have to be able to react and be able to catch it. If he was a body catcher, Shannon, which you know, a cradler of the football, a person that's more comfortable with the body, but his overall skill and the build to be able to react, react back to the football because his body movement was going the other way. So it's, this play is not pulled off without some luck and without some type of skill. And also, <clears throat> if you watch the play, Neil also did him a favor because Neil hits him in his back and turns him mm. almost mm -hmm. into the ball. Mm -hmm. So when, when CC is saying, and I'm saying that a lot of things have to happen, luck is what happened when preparation meets opportunity. People's like, the Hail Mary that Aaron, or Aaron Rodgers throws is luck. No, they practice that yeah. every week. Now, it takes a certain level of skill for him to throw the ball with the trajectory and have it drop nose first. Everybody can't do that. A lot of people, they sail it out of the end zone or it doesn't go too far enough into the end zone. With this play here, because they were in 22 man, and he undercut it. He jetted what we call a jet when he yes. runs up underneath the yeah. play. Yes. And he he jetted. He he read the play too well he because did. he got in front of the ball. He know he has help over the, the top, top by both the safety. Sure. Right. All right. He knows outside the guys are in man to man. Mm -hmm. Yes. So he knows anything breaking in, I'm going to try to rob it mm -hmm. or jet it and try to intercept it. And so when the ball goes up in the air, it's anybody's ball. Because see, once the ball's in the air, it belongs to anybody. I mean, it left Tom Brady hand. That doesn't necessarily mean it's for Julian Edelman. Mm -hmm. hey, I'm playing defense. I'm entitled to the ball too. Okay. When Alfred he tips the ball up in the air, Julian sees it. Now Alfred's like. His momentum is taking him away from the play. There's nothing he could do now. His momentum is taking him away from the play. The, the two safeties are converging. Once Neil hits him in his right shoulder and turns him into the play, yep. if Neil doesn't touch him, he doesn't catch this ball. That so a true. lot of things have to go well and for this to happen. <laughs> so there's a combination of both going on. But for him to maintain the level of contact, because a lot of times when you get hit, and you have the ball, you close your eyes. That's why you see steel shots. A lot of guys got their eyes closed because that, that bump coming. But for him to maintain that, the ball, you losing focus and everything is going around. Yes. For him to maintain his concentration and catch that football. Yes. That the There's another thing that we do to skip that I do with wide receivers. It's with their eye reflection. I do things where I put something in their face, face. and just like that, you blink. they blink. But in the moment, you could see, Shannon, that was yeah. a great point. I, I didn't blink. You could see. Yeah, you're, you're like a ninja. Of course. <laughs> you, you might have been, been a Julian Edelman receiver back in the 70s. Right, but it's amazing, though, how all those skills came into place. Yeah. And, that, and that's why it's luck, but, it, but it's I also skill. I got it. That's fair. I thought Tom Brady made two uncharacteristically bad idea decisions last night. And the first one also involved Alford on the pick six. Danny Amendola was not open on that play because the robber is is Alford, and yeah. he robbed, and yes. he ran, and Tom made a valiant effort, unathletic Tom Brady, to try to get his ankle and missed him, and we know it was 21 to nothing real quick. But on this throw, this is a really bad idea throw because 
if effectively he's he's triple covered, not that they were it was, right, man, right. But, but it's going to be right. convergent. And triple Tom coverage. was eyeballing him, so the safeties right, right, were closer yeah, to him. Right, yes. and it's his guy. He's gonna if he's gonna force the ball to anybody, it's usually to Julian, mm -hmm. which also might have led to them getting defeated because he was because they were they were double teaming Edelman more than any game. Sure. All right. So he well, Edelman too. wasn't having a great game up until no, that catch. No, I agree. So it's a bad idea to throw, but Alford I don't think could have picked it. I know Joe Buck said. I'm not sure he could have come down with the ball, but he definitely got his hand up in strong in the ball. Now it's a luck play because where is it going to fall? To a red jersey or to the green ground or to, to, is Edelman mm -hmm. going to have a right. shot? Yes. And Edelman's makeup is he's never going to – obviously he's not going to quit on any play. So he's not going to be frustrated over it. He's just going to stay with it because he's an overachiever, chip on shoulder. So he's going to fight you to the ground. Yes. And he fought it to the – to yeah. within an inch of the ground, yeah. and somehow he hung on to it. Does that make him a great receiver? It just makes him Julian Edelman. That's yes, what he is. absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So. Well, I thought the Julio Jones toe tap catch oh. was going to be the highlight of hey, the game. Hey, that, that was all-time great to it me. It was incredible. It, it was, was just special. But the Julian really Edelman special. catch was fascinating to yep. watch. I mean, you could watch that on a loop. Well,